guys welcome back to my channel sorry for the messy hand i'm in the middle of redoing crikey's enclosure i'm currently moving stuff around on my shelf and in my room trying to see what kind of room i have for some possible new additions maybe this week we'll see but in the meantime i'm moving stuff around and i'm upgrading some animals so i decided to upgrade crikey today so he's going from a 20 to a 30 gallon enclosure and I'm dropping dirt everywhere. So I was going to film the whole process for you guys, but I already started because I was filming with my DSLR. But I really just don't like the camera quality on my DSLR for some reason. Like for videotaping, I don't like the way those videos come out. So I just now decided I'm going to switch to my phone. So we're restarting the filming process. But anyway, I'll get you guys up to speed on what I've done so far. So my whole room is atrocious because everything is being moved and organized and whatever, but... There's Crikey, currently chilling. You can't really see him in there. But I pulled this 30 gallon up and I'm currently filling it with Eco Earth. So I have the brick in here and I dumped some water in. Shout out to Lord Elian for exposing that trick. Saw that in one of his videos recently. He put the brick in the enclosure and poured in water. And I think I'm gonna need more water because I still have a chunk of brick left. But yeah, that's what we've got so far. So this isn't going to be a care guide by any means because I'm still learning the best way to take care of these guys. There's not a whole lot out there on them. But I did just want to show you guys how I am setting up his new enclosure. So now, you know, we just wait for that brick of eco earth. know the saltwater crocodile is like the heaviest reptile in the world like 2200 pounds dang doesn't look terrifying could you imagine swimming with this thing i mean i think that'd be cool but at the same time like oh my god so the problem with his enclosure right now besides being on the small side is that i'm using paper towel as a substrate Jeweled Lacerda's like to dig. It's one of their key qualities. And because I have him on paper towel, he hasn't able, been able to do that. Now he was on paper towel because he did show some sign of mites at one point. So I've just been having him on paper towel for my own personal paranoia reasons. But it has been months. There have been no signs of mites again. And so it's time that he gets proper substrate and I let go of my paranoia. When I first got Craigie, I did have him on soil and he didn't seem interested in burrowing. But who knows, maybe he will now that he's older or being more of a Lacerda. Because they're also supposed to be kind of shy, but when I first got him, he was very adventurous and always out. Always came right up to the glass. Now he's showing more signs of being kind of a scaredy cat, which I guess is more typical of a Lacerda. So, we'll see. Maybe he'll start digging and acting like a Lacerda. Okay, so what I'm using for substrate is Eco Earth because it's really good for humidity and they do need about 50% humidity, but I'm also mixing it with some play sand. And I know most of you are probably like, oh my god, play sand, Zoe, no. I do believe if used properly and in the right circumstances, sand can work as a substrate. And I think it just really depends. Like I wouldn't use sand as just a pure only substrate. I'm mixing the sand with other substrates. The sand in this case is just used purely to help hold the structures that are being dug by the Lacerda. So this is actually something a lot of Lacerda owners do is they'll mix stuff like dirt, topsoil, eco earth with sand because it helps hold the shapes that they are digging. So what I'm doing is I'm just taking a cup of play sand and just sprinkling it over the eco earth and then just mixing it in. Now that I've got the sand and eco earth in, I'm just going to add some forest floor from Zoomed, make it a little more natural and just add another substrate to the mix. Okay. 
so after looking at it I decided I wanted the dirt a little deeper so he had more digging room. I didn't want to open another block of eco earth so I dumped in some jungle mix from Zilla. It's basically just dirt and some mosses and it's really good for humidity. I use it for my rainbow boa. So I mixed some of that in too just to give it a little more layerage in the dirt. Make it a little deeper. So I should have no problems with his humidity now. All right, so you guys are about to see why there's never any pictures of me handling or holding Crikey. <sighs> handling him is a stressful time, it really is. So this is why you never see me handling Crikey. And he will bite me after he gets done whipping me with his tail and alligator rolling like an iguana. Ouch, he also does have very sharp nails. So I'll have to show you my hands afterwards because they are torn up now. But there's Crikey. He's finally calmed down a little bit. And I have not handled him since his last mite treatment because he hated me and I was letting him de-stress. He has gotten huge. Like it's one thing to look at him, but when you actually like see him in an empty enclosure and then you pick him up and try to handle him, he's huge. I will say it's easier to handle him now though because when he was little, you just squirmed through your fingers. Now there's more body for me to hold on to. He's also shedding. So just an idea of what handling a Lacerda is like. You can see my hand is all torn up, as is this one. And I have this nice scratch on the side. So it kind of looks like I handled an iguana. I'm all torn up, I'm bleeding. It's a fun time. So just for my sanity, I am soaking him in water one last time. Just make sure there's no mites on him. So he's soaking while I'm setting up the rest of the stuff in the enclosure. So I have everything from his old enclosure. I gave it a nice soaking. I cleaned it all. So it's all ready to go. I also have this fake plant I've been hanging on to for someone. I think I'm going to try and use it in his enclosure. going to attempt throwing in some springtails. It looks like, I don't know, I got some from work and I put them in here with some charcoal and water and it looks like I'm getting babies. I mean I've had them for like a month now or two months. So I'm just going to throw some in and see what happens. I know it's probably not how you're supposed to do it. Like that's totally not bioactively correct. But I'm just going to do it anyway. So what is the harm in just throwing in some springtails? Alright, let's see how he likes his new enclosure. So I have to get plants for the back there. That's on my shopping list because obviously it's very empty and boring. So that is a to-do. Okay, bye. All right, so we've got his light all set. He's got water. This is his new home. And he's back to hating me. So I forgot I also had this wood from Arcadius's old enclosure. So I cleaned it up. And now we have something else to climb on. A little more interesting now. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit that like button if you enjoyed. And hit that subscribe and notification bell. So you don't miss any more videos. And we'll see you next time.